皆さんこんにちは、ケントです。On July 20th, 2020, TV Tokyo aired a TV show listing the top 30 snacks as voted by 14,000 Japanese people.Today, I'll be covering the top 10.Number 10 is a potato chip. Take a potato chip and eat it. From the company Calbi, the consomme punchy flavor, or consomme punch. Consomme, as you know, is broth. And punch comes from the Japanese slang term panchi ga kiku, or literally, has an effective punch. It's really close to the English idiom packs a punch, and it means that it has a lot of impact. <laughs> Fun fact about the company Kalbi it was founded in Hiroshima in post war Japan. The name comes from cal meaning calcium and b meaning vitamin B. Both nutrients the Japanese people tended to lack in the post war period. Anyway, number 10 is a basic potato chip. Potato chip. Much like Lay's from the US or Walker's in Britain. It's a thin, fried potato chip. It's a salt flavored chip with broth flavorings, giving it that umami. Number 9 is Choco Pie. By Lotte. Lotte was founded in 1948 by Shin Gyuk Ho. He was born in Korea while under Japanese colonial rule, and he started off as a small chewing gum company in Japan, selling gum out of the back of his car. In 1966, he returned to Korea, eventually, growing it to become Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, expanding into many businesses, including petrochemicals, movie theaters, And theme parks. Anyway, Choco Pie. It's basically a moon pie. It's a soft cake sandwich with a marshmallow filling covered in chocolate. Number eight is Chocolate Coca Cacao 72% from the Meiji Company. It literally translates to chocolate effect cacao 72%. This is a chocolate that is being sold as a health food. Touting the antioxidant properties of the polyphenols found in chocolate. Look at the ad material. Eat chocolate. Get healthy! The ad material even says to eat a few every day to get the best effect. Number 7. Takenoko no Sato. The people have spoken. Takenoko is better than mushroom. Let me explain. Takenoko no Sato means bamboo shoot village. It's a cookie covered in chocolate that has been around since 1979. This is a sequel to another cookie called Kinoko no Yama, or the mountain of mushrooms. A cookie covered in chocolate shaped like a mushroom. Now, if you go to a store, you will always find them next to each other, and there's always a fierce debate over which one is better. By the way, the mushroom one came in at number 26 in the list. I lean towards mushrooms, but the people have spoken. Takenoko, it is. They're both delicious, but mushroom is better. Number six, macadamia chocolate. It's macadamia nuts covered in chocolate. Simple as that. The macadamia nut is a nut with relatively high fat content. It's delicious on its own and it's known as the king of nuts. Cover it in really good chocolate and it's a winning combination. Number five, Kit Kat Minis. Since its introduction in Japan in 1974, Kit Kats have been a staple chocolate snack in Japan. And part of the reason why it's so popular is because Kit Kat sounds a lot like the Japanese phrase, Kitto Katsu. Which means you will surely win. It became a very popular good luck charm of sorts surrounding college entrance exam season in Japan. Also, there are over 200 flavors of Kit Kats in Japan. Why? Nestle, the company that sells Kit Kats in Japan, attributes this to the prevalence of a omiyage culture in Japan. Omiyage is a gift a person brings to someone or brings back from some place when they travel. It's really common for Japanese people to bring gifts that has to do with the place that they're traveling from. It's kind of like if you were visiting New York City, you might want to bring back New York bagels back home to your friends and family. Anyway, Kit Kat has found success partnering with many different prefectures to create limited edition Kit Kats that represent the prefecture. For example, representing Hokkaido, the largest and most northern prefecture of Japan, is the Yubari melon flavor, based on their famous Yubari melons. 
representing the Shizuoka Prefecture is a wasabi flavor, since Shizuoka is known for its high quality wasabi. Anyway, number five is Kit Kat Minis. Number four, Jagariko Saladaji. Jagariko salad flavor. And it's a fried potato stick snack. So what is salad flavor? Well, it's a very popular flavor name in Japan, but to figure out what it means, you need to first know what a senbei is. A senbei is a Japanese cracker usually made out of rice. Well, back in the 1960s, a new type of senbei was made using vegetable oils, which in Japan is most commonly known as salad oil. Back in the day though, salad oil was an expensive luxury item in Japan. So instead of just calling these senbei salt flavor senbei, they decided to call them salad flavor because they thought it would sound a little bit more fancy at the time. You can still find many salad flavor snacks, one of the most famous probably being pretz, which by the way came in at number 30 in the list. Anyway, salad flavor is really just salt flavor. So we're talking about a salty fried potato snack. I mean, who doesn't love salty fried potatoes? Number three is Kaki no Tane by the Kameda Seika Company. This is probably my favorite snack out of this list. It's a salty and slightly spicy cracker and the one sold by the Kameda Seika Company usually comes with peanuts. So they're called Kaki Pi or short for Kaki no Tane with peanuts. So what does Kaki no Tane mean? It literally translates to persimmon seeds, which is what it looks like. It's also a snack that has been officially admitted as space food. Number two is almond chocolate. This is in the same series as the macadamia chocolate I mentioned earlier. It's chocolate covered almonds. Nothing too fancy about it, but it's really good. And number one is Calbee's chips again. But this time, the default usushio flavor, light salt. It's a basic potato chip, nothing more, nothing less. Fun fact about this potato chip, or rather Kalbi potato chips in general, 17% of all potatoes grown in Japan are used for Kalbi's potato chip. No wonder, of the top 30 most popular snacks in Japan in this list, four of them are Calbee's potato chips flavors. Which segues into my next bit, snack reviews. Today I'm tasting Pizza Potato from Calbee, which came in at number 21 in the top 30 list. Here it is, Pizza Potato. Ooh, it's kind of got ridges, kind of like ruffles. Mm. So I've had pizza flavored chips before. The one that I'm thinking of right now is Pringles. Compared to Pringles though, you can really taste the ingredients. And instead of kind of like a almost artificially consistent flavor Pringles has, this chip really does taste like real potatoes that were fried with pizza ingredients on it. You can also see real spices on the surface of the chip. Like look at this chip. You can really see the cheese melted onto the surface. And apparently that's the whole point of these. Like when they came out first in Japan, it was very much advertised the fact that immediately after they fry these, they sprayed real cheese on them. So they will actually melt onto the chip. That was one of the things that they touted when they came out with this chip and yeah, you could really taste it. I really recommend it. I believe Calbi actually has a distributor in the US now. So these should be relatively easy to find. I found an Amazon link. I will put them in the description below. Yeah, I give these five New York pizza slices out of five New York pizza slices. They're really good. Oh, <coughs> it went down the wrong hole. Ah. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on what kind of content I should explore, please leave a comment below. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram. If you'd like to follow me there, that'll be awesome. They're in the description below too. I'll be updating the channel with new videos every week. If you want to check those out, hit that subscribe button, man. Thank you.